Next on News 4 at 5, life after concussions, leaving active teens with a condition often overlooked. I would have to put my head down, go to sleep. How to spot the warning signs and the new procedure helping to take the pain away. Doreen Gensler reports. Next on News 4 at 5. There's new research tonight finding that concussions in some teenagers may be mismanaged by their doctors. Doreen Gensler has details on what some say is a related condition that is being overlooked. Doreen? Hi, Wendy. Jim, doctors say the impact of getting hit in the head can cause more than a concussion. It can cause a secondary injury that's resulting in severe headaches for some people. But now a simple procedure may be able to give those patients their lives back. Once college started, they picked up really bad. Like in the middle of classes, I would just get like a locked neck and shooting pain, sound like this back of my head and down the sides. 18 year old Abby Tyner says her headaches got so bad she couldn't sit through her classes. I would have to put my head down, go to sleep. The only thing that would fix like the horrible headaches was sleep and pitch dark. Those headaches started after Abby suffered three concussions in high school while playing her favorite sports softball and basketball. Doctors told her those hits to the head were probably the cause of her pain. They gave her migraine and pain medications, but the headaches never went away. I think overall there is a huge misconception about what truly happens. MedStar Georgetown University Hospital Dr. Evika Duchik is a plastic surgeon who specializes in treating headaches. He says he was noticing a lot of patients like Tyner suffering from extreme headaches after concussions. So he started to look closer at the head and neck and found something the other doctors didn't. It is the separate injury that took place at the same time. Dr. Duchik says some of these headaches are being caused by a secondary injury in the neck that occurred during the impact to the head. It causes nerves in the neck to become compressed or even tangled up with tendons and muscle. The goal then of the treatment would be, depending on what exactly mechanism took place, would be to try to bring those nerves to as normal condition as it was before the event. The procedure is an outpatient surgery that usually takes about an hour. Doctors make two small incisions, either in the back, front, or side of the head, so they can give the nerves more space, making sure they're not being pinched anymore. Abby Tyner says after recovering for about a week, her headaches were gone. It's just a miracle. They went away. Abby is actually back to playing softball. Dr. Duchik tells us if you're feeling tenderness around the back, front, or side of the head, and you've been suffering for more than three months, you could have compressed nerves, and you should talk to a doctor about it. Mm. Wendy? Interesting. Mm -hmm.